The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, my name is Patty Hunter. Today, my guest is Fab Brizo. Yes. Ferrari, he's a musician, CEO of BSM. We'll talk about that a wee bit later. So this is my page, Patty's Page TV show we're on, and we're shown every weekend. So... Um, I'm going to ask you some questions, Fabrizio. How do you pronounce your name properly? Oh, my, name is, my name is Fabrizio. It would be actually in Italian, it would be Fabrizio. Fabrizio. Yeah, Fabrizio. I know. It's not easy to say. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very glad to be here with you today. Oh, thanks for coming on, too. I do admire your work, you know. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Where were you born and raised? Yeah, I was born in Italy, in uh, Milan, actually, in yeah. 1971, so a, a little bit a while ago. And uh, I, I, I grew, I was, I mean, raised there. And um, um, yeah, I spent, uh, I'd say, for, yeah, two thirds of my life there in Italy, and then we moved here about uh 18 years ago 18 um, yes. yeah yeah we lived in california for about 11 years rancho oh, santa wow. margarita we lived there. oh nice that's a nice place so, yeah it's not too far from me not too far 30 minutes from me i'm oh, in orange county orange county did yeah. you have a lot of earthquakes uh not very much in this area actually okay. we are close to the ocean so we don't we we are not on the Actually, you know, on the on the mountains, on the mountains, they feel much more of the earthquakes than here. We were near the saddle up back mountains ourselves when we were living in Rancho. Yeah, because that that's closer to the mountains. That's right. I see. And who influenced you as you were growing up the most? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can tell you. Uh, you know, I'm kind of coming from a family of musicians. Uh, my grandfather used to play just for fun, but mostly my my uncle was a violinist uh, at the La Scala Theater in Milan. See, si. so so he was the the, the 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 real pro of our family, and his son, my cousin, also was a um, violinist. And so I naturally, you know, I wanted to play the violin too. So I started study violin, and I studied it for uh, well over. 15 years um and uh, and so you know i i i i grown up with uh with the music in my mind and besides music i also had a passion for computer programming si. which you know which is something uh unique for a musician usually you know musicians that just play music and then <laughs> they don't play with computers also so I, I i had this passion of mine it was a kind of hobby at the beginning but at the end it becomes like profession trying to merge music with the new technologies and that's that has been my my mission for my entire life trying to to uh, move music uh, forward in the future with the help of technologies so you're married yes i'm married i have two kids yeah yeah my <clears throat> my daughter is uh 21 and um, she's graduating this year in history at the ucla and uh, and my my son is uh, sixteen, is still in high school, but um, he, he's probably a... gonna <laughs> two. Yeah, my son is probably going to be an engineer, but <laughs> no musicians, unfortunately. My my wife is a musician too, though. I see. Ah, what does she play? 
Yeah, she's a she's a violinist and a violist also. What kind yeah. of violins are you? Well, to what kind of violins? See. Si. Well, uh, well, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, my Your violin, favorite. my fi favorite violin. Uh, so, you you mean the 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 uh, luthiers that made the violins? No, the, the ones. Your favorite violin that you have played? Over oh the wow! Years. Oh, over the years. Well, I can tell you this: my my violin teacher had a Guarnieri, which is, you know, after Stradivarius, it's probably the the most valuable and uh, amazing violin you can find. Si. And so I, I played that violin a couple of times. It was really wonderful. It's the power, the the cleanness of the sound. Uh, the, Crystal smooth. clear, smooth. smooth, yes, amazing, and the power as well. I mean, my gosh! <laughs> so, when you're growing up uh, in Italy, Milan, yes, what schools did you go to, and what did you major in? Yeah, okay. Um, you know, I I started uh, studying at the Conservatory uh, of Music in Milan. I started with a with a violin, but at the same time, and after after a few years, I also began studying music composition. I see. Uh, yeah, and um, and so and I, at the end of the of my uh, study, um, I also studied uh, electroacoustic uh, music composition, which is kind of computer music. So I actually graduated in in three uh, fields: uh, computer, uh, actually the violin. Um, you know, we have the violin diploma, which is corresponds pretty much to the like the violin concert degree you have here in the U.S. Um, in music composition and uh, in uh, electroacoustic music composition. So I, I got three degrees at the Conservatory of Milan, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much my academical background. Well, you have done a lot, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a lot. I am impressed by your musica. Thank you. Thank Beautiful you. Music. Did you play anywhere with your music with anyone? Yes. I mean, with the violin, I've played uh, um, for, for several years in different orchestras. I played at La Scala for a while. Mm -hmm. I, I played um, different youth orchestras. Even before I had my diploma, we went making tours in, in Japan. Um and um and then I I um I played for seven years uh, in the Opera Theater of Genoa. Um I'm impressed. Yes. Uh but you know actually after a while I I, I wanted to do more, you know, I I was also a music composer, so I I began um putting my compositions online and uh and a lot of people they 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 downloaded my music uh, um their way and at the time it was uh it was probably 1998 1999 and I began thinking well it would be interesting to offer you know, you know classical sheet music to download in the same way from the internet at that time, there weren't any websites offering that. So that's where, that's where the idea of virtual sheet music, that VSM you mentioned before, uh, is coming from. So, so virtual sheet music. Exactly. When did you start on a computer to do this? Yeah, it was in 1999, uh, 1999 when, uh, yes, uh, as I was saying at the time, uh, I... I was distributing online my own compositions in the PDF file format, and I had a lot of people downloading it. And mm. uh, and and so with my wife, we were talking. We said, "Oh my gosh, it would be interesting to try to sell, you know, classical sheet music in the same way." And so we tried, and they worked very well. And uh, so with my, you know, combined with my passion with the computer, um, I set up my first website online uh, and it was a kind of crazy adventure we began <laughs> i believe it was you had to learn the computer first have, yes we'll have to put all your stuff on and that's exactly work do you have samples of uh musica that was put into sheets 
to show people on your site how it sounds? Exactly. Yes, sure. Yes, we had uh, um, at the beginning, we, the, the, we had the kind of MIDI files and then we created the MP3 audio files that people could um, listen to uh, as a preview. So what's coming up now is St. Patrick's Day. Yes, I'm that's wearing right. Green, wearing green. <laughs> right. We're going to put this on just before St. Patty's Day. I was named after St. Patty himself now. Of course, my gosh. <laughs> so that's why I do love wearing green, and I am part Irish, you know. Oh, really? Wow. I see. Wonderful. <clears throat> it's great to know. Have you collaborated with others besides your wife? Uh, yes, of course. Um, well, during the years, you know, we have had this website for over 20 years now. And mm. so we had a lot of collaborators. Um, uh, let's say that at the beginning, we we were just my wife and myself. My wife learned to engrave the sheet music with the computer. And at the time, besides programming myself, I also used to make transcriptions, arrangements of all the classical repertoire mm. that we, we used to sell. Um, and uh, and and then you know the business grew and uh, and the uh, the time was always less and less so we had to find other people to help us with the business and with the music music arranging so we had uh, several composers that helped us growing the business and um, and selling music do we know any of those computers i mean com Composers. Compo composers. Oh, yeah, sure. We are still in contact with many of those. Um, and some of those are still working for us. Um, yes. Yeah, um, I was wondering, um, the genre all the way through is classical. Yeah, mostly classical. I mean, we started with, a, with just classical music that helped because we didn't have to deal with copyrights because classical music is in public domain. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that helped a lot. Uh, but after a while, we I mean we saw people requesting, you know, other genres like more popular music or even just jazz or the other genres. So uh, we uh, established some partnerships with the. Uh, other pub big publishers such as Al Leonard or Alfred. So we are actually now reselling their music as well. So we offer sheet music in any any genre you can think about. So do you, uh, when you sell these sheets? Yes. Do you send it to the physical address? No, it's everything is digital. It's digital just download, that? just download. Yes. Yeah, that was our it. idea. Yes. Oh, interesting. So virtual sheet music, uh, VSM. So you are the founder, uh, CEO of what? Yes, we. I'm the founder, yes, together with my wife. Uh, and now, yes, I, I, I say myself I'm the CEO because I'm just handling everything. Um, but, um, yes, I mean, it's been a, a long journey and, uh, and there still is, come, we have still have a, a lot of to come. <laughs> I know your mind is always thinking. You're oh, yeah, creative. Yes. I think I like that. I like that. So, um, do you have uh, contact information? That we can reach to you, of course. Websites, Facebook. And... Yes, I mean, I can I can found on Facebook with my name Fabrizio Ferrari. Um, uh, I'm also on LinkedIn. If anybody want to contact me professionally, and uh, my email is Fabrizio at virtualsheetmusic.com. So anybody is welcome to contact me by email. I'm also, I think, on Twitter, but I don't tweet that much. I'm just use Twitter to to read. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot and, of uh, um, social media. Oh yes, my gosh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's too much. Oh, too much. <laughs> too much. I wish I had that problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just wondering, um, do you have a lot of people in your, uh, uh, what's it called, email? Uh, I mean, a lot of customers, I meant? Yes. Thousands sure. and thousands and billions. Oh, yeah, we have. We have something like 20,000 unique users a day visiting our website. So we have really a lot of people. That's and, cool. Uh, yes. And do you teach? I don't personally teach, but um, on Virtual Sheet Music, we have a section of uh, video lessons, which is actually free, yeah. where we have we have different musicians that offer their videos um for free to our audience and uh, anybody is welcome to to visit it with this section on virtual music is called the music experts section and we have uh, musicians like robert estrin which um, uh, teaches uh, piano or general music um like music theory or um and such and we have uh, uh, william fitzpatrick which is uh, a wonderful violinist um, um I heard that name uh, before. Yeah, I mean he's he's pretty he's pretty famous teacher. Um he's coming from the same class with uh, uh of Isaac Perlman. So uh oh, <laughs> oh yeah they were friends, they they played together, so <laughs> wow. and uh, yeah, and we have other musicians like uh, some flutists, uh, cello uh, cellists and um uh, even even a conductor can made some videos for conducting. Yes. <laughs> How about voiceover singing? Singing, yeah. We also had a singer, yeah, a very talented singer who who made a, a few videos for us um, a few years ago, and we still had lessons from her mm -hmm. that can be watched uh, uh, for free on our website. So we can talk properly and from the diaphragm, no. Yes, exactly. She's 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 teaching everything about diaphragm, larynx, and uh, how to when to, to breathe and when not to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is her name? Oh, her name. Uh, uh, let me look it up because uh, been, it's been a while. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff name, on your. Uh... Yes, yeah, so a lot. Oh, her name is Rebecca Sher uh, Sherburn. Shepherd? Yes, she's right here in Irvine, I think. Irvine? Yes, I think she's here, or Costa Mesa, I mean, nearby. We When we first came to uh, California, we were in Newport Beach. Oh, nice place. It's <laughs> yeah. expensive, yeah. Dana Point <laughs> and all that. Then we went yeah. over to Rancho. Yes, hey. I'm, I'm in Laguna Niguel, which is very close to dinner point. I see. You're west of us. Uh, right yes. Here. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. So no, I'm just ten, 10 minutes from the ocean, so very oh, close. Sorry. To get all that fog coming in? Yeah, sometimes, yes, oh, we have fog, dangerous. unfortunately. We had a fun time going downtown. To... <laughs> right. Okay. And your main mission is what? Well, my main mission, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, is okay. to to make music more uh, approachable to everybody and with the help of new technologies. You know, because I I remember when I began studying violin uh, and music composition, um, I was in this environment, it was a kind of old. I mean, all the violinists around me, all the musicians around me, they were still just using, you know, paper and pencil and uh, the razor like uh, 100 years ago awesome. and nothing more than that. <laughs> so uh, I thought, oh, my gosh, today we have new technologies. There, there must be a better way to 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 make music. And actually, well, nowadays, the generation, no. The new generation is changing, of course. Yes, there are, I know many, many new musicians, uh, classical musicians, that are using iPads instead of the paper sheet music to read music from. So the uh, things are changing fast. But when we began twenty years ago, it was completely different. I mean, nobody knew about 
the internet even at the beginning. Oh, can you really find music online? <laughs> you know, <laughs> things have changed a lot. Mm -hmm. But still, you know, nowadays with the with the new um, um, AI systems, you know, artificial intelligence. Um, I think we are gonna gonna see a revolution in the coming years, even on the music side, that that uh, many musicians will appreciate. I think so. We are we're gonna find ourselves with uh, amazing tools that will make our music enjoyment even more enjoyable. So, what do you think uh, with uh, um, what you're saying? Musicians going out to tour. Would they use what you have? Yes, yes. yes. I, I know. I know many many orchestras also, uh, mostly in Europe now. Mm -hmm. They are starting using uh, iPads on their um, uh, <laughs> music stands because, mm -hmm. sure, of course, because uh, uh, that helps a lot. Um, if you're in an orchestra, you can share the same. Uh, you know, annotations on the music. Uh, if uh, the the first violin row writes something on, on the music, the whole row gets the same annotations automatically. So mm -hmm. you don't have to copy yourself looking at the, the front row, you know. That's something really useful for musicians. So no more conductor, eh? <laughs> well, the conductor is still there, of course. Oh, he's not but... out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I'll be all right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, so let's talk about the St. Patty St. Patrick sheet music and audio files. Do tell. Yes. Well, we have an entire section dedicated to St. Patrick's Day, and if you go on virtual music, now it's featured from the homepage, so you can see a banner at the top where we feature our St. Patrick's Day repertoire. We actually have. I don't know how many dozens of collections of St. Patrick's Day Day's music for any kind of instruments or ensembles you can think about. Um, com you know, duets, quartets, trios, everything for St. Patrick's Day. So you may have a lot of fun there. <laughs> for someone who doesn't read notes. Well, you can you can still listen to music where we have audio samples. And we, have, I think, we also have some uh, videos about St. Patrick's Day, but yeah, and and you, it's never, it's never late to to learn music. I mean, mm -hmm. that's my advice to everybody. Never so it's late. It's not hard to learn. No, absolutely. Nowadays, I mean, with all the tools we have, you can learn music very easily. Uh, even just on YouTube, there are so many videos teaching music at the basic levels. We also have a. I wrote a, a, an ebook that we give for free on our website, which is called, uh, uh, I think it's named uh, um, uh, Basic Music Principles. Ah, I um, have to learn that one now. Yes, it's an ebook I, I wrote a few years back, uh, which teaches the basic, basics of music. And uh, it also it is also associated with a, a video series we have done on uh, our YouTube channel, which, which teaches the, the basic. Uh, basics of music so it's um i really recommend watch watching and reading that ebook and what is the name of that ebook again what is it is a, a basic music principles i see yes yes and if you go on virtual music you can search for it <laughs> i will <laughs> indeed because i want to learn more good so um Musical instruments that are taught in these lessons. I forgot. What do you buy? Yeah, they we have piano, uh, violin, cello, um, voice, uh, guitar, flute. Um, no, that not yet. We still need to find a, a a drum player that wants to make some video lessons, music conducting, uh, and. Um, general music videos, music education also. And, uh, Are you looking to hire for more people to help you? Uh, well, to to hire, to help us, for now, I think we are good, but we also, we are also open to anybody that wants, wants to help collaborate, and uh, collaborate, yes, or even volunteer, of course. 
Yes, I mean, our mission is to, you know, provide new tools for musicians and new ways of enjo to, to enjoy music. Um, so we are always open. And yes, of course, in the musician and the video music experts uh, section, we are always open for new musicians that want to join, like a drum player. <laughs> Who is your favorite singer? Oh well, um, let's, let's get down and dirty. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, what what genre are you are you talking about? Pop the music, genre opera. Is your favorite besides classical? Besides classical, I'd say jazz. Jazz, jazz is my favorite genre after classical. Yes, Duke Ellington. Um, yeah, exactly. And uh, Bill Evans, that's my favorite pianist. Yes. And Oscar Peterson, my gosh, he's wonderful. Some Canadians <laughs> in there? Um, well, uh, wow. probably. I don't, I don't know all the nationalities. Of Oscar my Peterson was, was Canadian. Yeah, he was Canadian. Exactly, yeah. sure. Yeah, besides him, I, I don't know who else. But yeah, he's probably my favorite. Yes. How about Big Band? Music. Oh, I love big band music. Ah. Yes, I love it. Yeah. Everything about mm -hmm. you, Louisiana's music, I love it. So, um, what would you like to share? We're getting towards the end of the show, my dear. Yes. I'd love to have you back on, you know? Sure, of course. so much information I love to share with my audience. Of they course. do love music. So what would you like to share with my audience to uh, encourage them? Yes. You know the arts and music. Yes. And how yes. to be interested. Yeah. I can I can say two things. One toward the musicians. If you are really playing an instrument, get ready for amazing things coming out in the coming years because technology is moving forward very fast and music will follow. Um and so get ready to to learn uh, in the much, much easier ways, uh, music, and to enjoy it even more. And for whoever is not playing music, as I said earlier, it's never too late. You can always learn. We have people that sometimes uh, write us and uh, thanks us for our music and says, I'm 80, I'm just learning music now, I am enjoy it very much. I'm 71 in May, Wow, congratulations. I, I don't look it, do I? No, <laughs> actually, no, no, absolutely. <laughs> so it's never too late. I mean, any age, you can start learning music very easily. It's fun and, um, you know, helps with the brain, everything. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's just a pleasure to, to, to play music and even just listen to music. It's wonderful. That, that, so I... that's, that's my advice I like to share. I mean, it's never too late to enjoy music. That is so true. You're never too young to learn or too Absolutely. old to learn. And Absolutely. you learn when you go back to heaven. You get so much. Right? So yes. I like to thank you. For, Absolutely. Thank for you. For coming Pat. on to me show. And we'll see you next week and happy Pat St. Patty's Day. Likewise. Thank you very much. Ciao. Pleasure. Ciao, ciao. Very good. Godspeed, my love, until we meet again You're always in my heart and every dream Don't let this time apart Give in to all our fears God will keep us close from up above So until Us always for the rest of our lives.